conversations with you yet. Unless you think that we are done with our conversations, in which case I will take your face now. <laughs> Oh, what a pity. Then please, do change the subject matter. It isn't often that one gets the opportunity to converse with someone, well, with a bit of intelligence. I cannot hope to hold a conversation very long with that. Boy Scout Centaur and his half-wit sister. I haven't got many Centaur faces in my collection. But chance would be a fine thing. And your face, of course, human, is looking more and more appealing by the second. Oh, no you don't! Take that! Ah! You confounded! Tiny buffoon! Ah! <laughs> you going to need to move faster than that, Mamorgu? It's Mamorga. That's it, human. I can't believe I'm saying this, but climb on. It's the only way, and you're too slow. Come on, quickly. You too, Thossel. Wait, really? But we tired to just supposed to be. Get, get on before I change my mind. Quickly. All right, but uh, you're the one who said it. Here! Giddy up! Don't, d don't, don't push it. All right, fair enough. Onward, Aminor! There. I think that was far enough. I think we'll be safe here. Well, well, well. Abba nor the centaur. You really do surprise me sometimes, you know. Yes, yes. I, uh, I always aim to keep a few surprises up my sleeve. <laughs> now get off. <laughs> um, right, yes. <laughs> ah. Oh, what a glorious day. How are you, human? Oh. Oh, I see. Well, that was, uh, the face stealer. Oh, not a pleasant chap. Don't mind you. I suppose none of us would be any different if you were just stuck down in a dirty great hole all day. Oh, no, no, he never really comes out. Except when he, uh, wants another face. You know. But still, could have been worse. Could have been, uh, well, something that wants to kill you. He's actually quite bright, human. There are many creatures here who wish to, uh, kill. And not just kill, but, um, eat. 
And, uh, well, I mean, there are some creatures who will do... Well, I mean, there are some creatures who will kill you, eat you, and... You know. No, I don't think I do. Oh, I have a feeling that you know exactly what I mean. No, I don't think I do. I think I might like to hear you say the word. Mm. There are creatures here, yes, who wish to eat you, yes, potentially kill you, yes, and a turd, potentially fornicate with. <laughs> That's what I mean. That's what I was waiting for. Well, well, um, not quite that uh, long and uh, elegant using word that you use, but uh, this day it's better than nothing. <laughs> Fossil, I'll deal with you later. For now, we have bigger concerns. <sighs> Human, now that now that Momorga knows where you are, and that we, well, he knows that the human is in our realm. He doesn't have a human as part of his collection, so I have a feeling that now he knows that you exist, he'll stop at nothing to, um, well, uh, get your face. Unfortunately, the only way that I know out of this realm for you is the way we came, which is where we were, and that involves crossing... Momorga's lair again. Hmm, that is a tricky one. If a human can get through the same gateways that we can, maybe we can just find another uh, one. Yes, Fossil, I had thought of that. But, um, I'm not sure. For now, I think we may have to simply return to camp. I don't know, well, I simply don't know anywhere else we could go. Well, yes, we could go back to my sister and ask her advice, but I'm not sure. Well, if she sees you again, she'll know that I hadn't, you know, done what I said, and I don't want her treating me like a child anymore. Oh, I'd call her Mammy any day. Fossil, <laughs> no, that is disgusting. She's my sister. Oh, I know, boyo. <laughs> Right, so, in the meantime, if you don't want to be treated like a feckin' child, then, well, where, where are we going to go? Well, we could form a camp in the, in the ruins. Into ruins? Uh, if you want to, but, uh, not even the night fairies go in there. Precisely. That's why I think we'll be safer in there. Come, human, stay close. The ruins can be dangerous. <sighs> That's a very good fire, Thussel. Well done. Oh, it's not an... I often wondered, do all leprechauns know how to use magic? Eh, yeah, most of them. But, uh, <laughs> it takes a special kind of magic to create fire and, uh, you know, mess with the elements and all that. Oh, well. We're lucky to have you, Thussel. <laughs> You're damn right. Are you... All right, human. Uh, yes, I... I know. Momorga is an unpleasant fellow. He has a few faces that are familiar to me. Yes. I often did wonder why he is the way he is and I don't know. I think there are some people in the world who thrive on evil. And, well, I mean, my sister disagrees. She believes that people are born innocent. And they're corrupted by separate things in their life that make them evil, but... I'm not sure. 
Over the years I've seen true evil and I'm not sure I believe that. Well, I mean, as far as I'm aware, I don't believe Momorga had a bad upbringing, as, well, any spirit does. But he just likes stealing faces. <laughs> he discovered the magic and has been using it ever since, and the corruption within the magic disfigured his body to the point, well, that you saw. Well, that's my point. <laughs> People have a choice. People always have a choice. I mean, granted, the choice may not always be easy, but there is always one. Ah, that's some deep stuff, Boyle. Very deep stuff. In the meantime, how are we going to get this human home? There's no other way past that little gorge. You know, past my morgue's lair. <laughs> that was the place that, uh, well, the human said it came out. That's a very good point, Fossil. Is there any way that the human can access one of the magical gateways that your people do? Ah, uh, probably not. They're specifically designed with leprechauns in mind, so, uh, no, I'm afraid not. I think, uh, we're going to have to take this to a higher power. What? You... you mean? Yes, exactly, Boyle. I mean, we have to go to the king. Uh, I was afraid of that. King Oberon. King of the Fae. Yes. If anyone will know what to do, it'll be him. Still, we'll leave in the morning. Human, I want you to do something for me. If you feel any different whatsoever, any difference at all, even if it's just a, a tiny change in mood or anything, you need to tell us, okay? Why? Because I don't know how this world is going to affect human physiology. You know, I don't, I don't know how your body reacts to extended exposure to our realm, you know? I just want to make sure that we're not hurting you or doing something to you unexpected, you know? Yes. Thank you. Okay, Fossil, human, I think it's time we got some sleep. Momorga shouldn't be able to find us here. We'll head out to see the king in the morning. Good night.